Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve another interesting infinite sum. Here, uh, n is equal 0 to infinity, 1 over n swinging factorial. Okay, what is the swinging factorial? This is the definition of swinging factorial. Uh, this is equal to n factorial over n over 2 plus of plus function plus of n over 2 factorial here is square. Okay, this is the definition of swinging factorial. Now here uh, our question uh, 1 over n swinging factorial but here we have uh, plus of n over 2. So uh, if we consider uh, for even n, even n, uh, if we take n is equal to 2 times k, so we can write here uh, n instead of n now 2 times k, so uh, 2 times k swinging factorial is equal to now here uh, 2k factorial over here also we have 2k over 2 plus of 2k over 2 factorial. Uh, square now uh, if we simplify we know here we have 2k factorial over now uh, here if we simplify we have k factorial square and we know this is also equal to uh, 2k choose k okay then uh, now uh, we should consider uh, for uh, odd n so now if we take uh, for odd n we know n is equal to uh, 2k plus 1 so similarly we can write uh, swinging factorial of 2k plus 1 is equal to uh, 2k plus 1 uh, times 2k choose k okay then uh, now uh, we can start our question so uh, we can write now our infinite series uh, is equal to sum of 0 to infinity 1 over now here uh, swinging factorial we know uh, for even n for even n we can write here k k is equal 0 to infinity we have 2k choose k so here 2k choose k plus 0 to sorry here again k is equal 0 to infinity now for odd n uh, we have 1 over 2k plus 1 times uh, 2k choose k okay no now uh, we can simplify so here uh, infinite sum k is equal 0 to infinity now we know uh, 2k choose k uh, is equal to uh, 2k factorial over k factorial square uh, this term so we can write here k factorial square over 2k factorial plus uh, here n is equal 0 to infinity 1 over here we have 2k plus 1 times uh, 2k choose k we know uh, here uh, 2k factorial over k factorial square we can write in the numerator k factorial square okay then uh, we can again simplify k is equal 0 to infinity here also we have k is equal 0 to infinity so we know now common denominator uh, is equal to uh, 2k uh, now here we have 2k plus 1 factorial instead of 2k factorial times 2k plus 1 we can write 2k plus 1 factorial so 2k plus 1 factorial now here we know k factorial square is a uh, factor common factor so k square k factorial square and here we have now 2k factorial so we should multiply 2k plus 1 and here we have plus 1 okay then um, k is equal 0 to infinity now here we have uh, k factorial square times 2k plus 2 over 2k plus 1 factorial okay now uh, factorial uh, we know we can define by gamma function so we can write now here k is equal 0 to infinity k factorial we know 
uh, gamma square of k plus 1 here 2 times uh, k plus 1 so we can write here 2 uh, k plus 1 times gamma square of k plus 1 over here we know this is also equal to gamma of 2k plus 2 okay then uh, we can rearrange our series here 2 uh, n is equal 0 to infinity here k plus 1 and uh, gamma square of k plus 1 we can write gamma of k plus 1 gamma of k plus 1 over uh, here gamma of 2k plus 2 we can write gamma of uh, k plus 1 plus k plus 1 okay then uh, we know this is uh, the definition of beta function because we know beta of mn is equal to gamma of n gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we can write now this is equal to 2 times uh, infinite sum 0 to sorry here k k is equal 0 to infinity uh, k plus 1 times uh, beta of uh, k k okay then uh, we know uh, beta function we can represent by uh, we, we can represent as a integral so we can write now this is equal to 2 times here k is equal 0 to infinity k plus 1 times integral from 0 to 1 x to the k times x uh, sorry 1 minus sorry 1 minus x to the k d x okay then uh, now we can switch integral sign and uh, sigma notation so we can write uh, this is equal to 2 times uh, here integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 infinite sum k is equal 0 to infinity k plus 1 times now uh, we can multiply this so x minus x square raised to the k power d x okay then uh, we know about this series uh, because uh, we know k is equal 0 to infinity k plus 1 times x to the k is equal to 1 over x minus 1 square therefore uh, we can write um, absolute value of x times x minus k uh, lower than to 1 uh, our series uh, k is equal 0 to infinity k plus 1 times x minus x square raised to the k power is equal to uh, we know 1 over x square minus x plus 1 square okay then uh, we can write uh, 2 times uh, integral from 0 to 1 uh, dx over x square minus x plus 1 square okay then uh, to evaluate uh, this integral we can rearrange the denominator uh, like 2 times integral from 0 to 1 dx over now here we can write x minus 1 half square uh, here 1 over 4 so plus uh, 3 over 4 square okay then uh, to evaluate this integral uh, we can use a uh, substitution so if we take um, x minus one half x minus one half uh, x minus one half is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 tan of theta now if you differentiate dx is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 secant square of theta d theta so we can write uh, our integral is equal to um, 2 times now limit uh, we know when x approaches to 0 uh, 2 get cancelled minus 1 over the square root of 3 tan of we know minus 5 over 6 and uh, if we plug in 1 upper limit here 1 half 2 get cancelled 
so uh, we have pi over 6 pi over 6 now dx we know uh, square root of 3 over 2 square root of 3 over 2 secant square of theta d theta over uh, here we have uh, x minus 1 half square root of 3 over 2 tan of theta so we have 3 over 4 times tan square of theta plus 3 over 4 okay then uh, we can simplify so we know here we have 2 times now um, here 3 over 4 we can take sorry here is square 3 over 4 we can take as a common factor so uh, outside the integral sign 16 over 9 so 16 over 9 and here also we have square root of 3 over 2 so the square root of 3 over 2 uh, then uh, we know 1 plus tan square of theta is equal to secant square of theta here secant square of theta raised to the uh, uh, 2 power so we know secant square of theta get cancelled 1 over secant square of theta we know cosine square of theta so here minus 5 over 6 to 5 over 6 cosine square of theta d theta then uh, we know this 2 get cancelled so we have 16 times square root of 3 over 9 now here minus 5 over 6 to 5 over 6 cosine square of theta we can write 1 plus uh, cosine of 2 times theta over theta d theta okay then uh, here 16 times square root of 3 over 9 now if we integrate we know here theta over 2 uh, plus sine of 2 times theta over uh, 4 uh, from minus 5 over 6 to pi over 6 okay then uh, here 16 times square root of 3 over 9 now if we apply limit here 5 over 6 so 5 over 12 uh, then uh, here again we know minus minus 5 over 6 so 5 over 12 so we have pi over 6 and if we apply here 5 over 6 we know 2 get cancelled 5 over 3 so sine of 5 over 3 uh, we know square root of 3 over 2 so square root of 3 over 8 again we know minus so minus minus plus square root of 3 over 4 so uh, we can simplify now if we multiply this uh, we know we have uh, 8 times square root of 3 times pi over 9 uh, plus now square root of 3 square root of 3 we know 3 and here 9 so 3 get cancelled so uh, here we have uh, 3 and in the numerator we have uh, we know 4 times uh, 16 so here 4 okay this is the answer for this question if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching